All right, biology students, I'm here to help you understand about when you put your hand on a hot oven, how it sends a stimulus and then eventually an action potential from your nerves all the way to your spinal cord, up to your brain, back down your spinal cord to your muscles to tell you to move away or move your hand away from the hot oven. So there's a few things we have to understand first before we even get into the real in-depth thing. And the first thing is we've got to understand our concentration levels. So right here I have a cell membrane separating the outside of the cell and of course down here the inside of the cell, okay? So I need you first, when you first look at these questions, to determine where the higher concentration is at. So if we look at the sodium, the higher concentration is outside. If you count them, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on the outside, one, two, three, three on the inside. So I'm going to put a, in green HC for higher concentration of sodium and a lower concentration of sodium on the inside. Now you're going to do the same exact thing for the potassium, okay? We have one, two, three, four, five on the inside and one one, two, three on the inside. So I'm going to put low concentration for the outside of the cell for potassium and high concentration for the inside for potassium. So now the next thing you know is you, we need, you need to know is you have to understand the word diffusion. Okay, I'm going to write it up here. I do have a video on it. Diffusion. And what diffusion is is a process that doesn't take energy, which allows a substance to move from a high concentration to a low concentration. So in our example here, where, if these are the, let me get my pen out, these are the sodium channels here. This is a sodium channel here. And it allows flow to go from the outside in. How is the flow going to happen? Well, we have a high concentration on the outside and a low concentration on the inside. So when the, the sodium channel opens up, when it does, and we'll talk about how it opens up a little later, but when that sodium channel opens up, we are going to see a flow of s sodium ions in through the channel from the outside and going in because diffusion happens from going from a high concentration to a low concentration, okay? And so don't worry about how it opens now. We're going to study how it opens later, but I want you guys to know about the diffusion and how these ions move from a high concentration to a low concentration, and the big key too is this does not use energy in the form of ATP. Eventually we will also learn how the potassium channel opens, and once again the same thing will happen. This high concentration on the inside will move to the outside of the cell, okay? So please, if you don't understand that now, maybe go back and do some review. I'm going to do a whole series of videos on action potentials, sodium, potassium pumps, sodium and, and potassium channels, and uh, just how a nerve works to react to a hot oven. I hope this was helpful. Please study the diffusion. Please always count your concentrations, and please remember the diffusion goes from a high concentration to a low concentration and does not use energy. Thank you very much. Have a good day.